Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nice run there. Thomas gains around six yards on the run. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 45. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. run there as they work the outside. McIntyre gains about five yards on the option play. From midfield, it's second down. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and ten. over the middle. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. around the 35-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Hancock wants to pin these guys deep, and you've got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Sooners have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. He's going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play.
Ferguson awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. at the 44-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 44. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll make it second and long. Second and long. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. At the 36 yard line. That makes it fourth and long. Hancock to punt. Tackle at the 32. You wonder what kind of impact a special teams play will have in the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. taken down for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. We played one. Now this one's scoreless. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. it off on the delay. Nice gain as he works the right side. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And down he goes, the 47-yard line. Trying to change the field position with his kick. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Tosses it out. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped.
from their own 42-yard line. First down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 56, Mike 56. Reach out. This is four. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. Yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. The Sooners were really excited when they got this guy. They expect him to be a future star, a top recruit, a great talent. And there's tackle number one. Tackles him hard at the 10. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, huh? Mike 56, Mike 56. Quick toss. Fires in there, got it. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to blast off for an update from Toledo and for Iowa State. They can flat make you look silly with this pitch and catch game, and they do it quickly, hitting for a touchdown. All locked up, two touchdowns apiece. All right, Reese, back to our game. Lackey has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He hands it to the back. And they hit him in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Second down at 12. Ball on the 21. Tackled in the open field. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they'll get him in the backfield. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Arkansas is going to use their first time out of the half here. Ferguson is the putter. Oh, excellent punt. Got the corner. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 42. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. 
And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Arkansas up seven points. On the ground with a tailback. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they get nice yardage on that one. The Razorbacks are going to call their second timeout. He's out of bounds, right around the 16-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And that one's incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. How did he catch that ball? He just stuck his big claw up there and caught it. Some of these linemen will surprise you with how athletic they are. First and ten. Ball on their own 29. Gets out to about the 31. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He chucks it downfield. And he's taken down at the 12. Great first half of action and we're hoping for more of the same. 7-0. Razorbacks. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right. You can say it like it is. This is right. This is All right, Reese and David. Welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22-yard line. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Taken down at the 41. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Got 
from their own 41 yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. Scramble. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Brought down right around the 10 yard line. That makes it first and goal. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. My 52, my 52. Carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three yard line. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Hey, Mike gets the two. Mike gets the two. Touchdown, Sooners. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And you can feel the intensity and emotion in this stadium. This one has been an amazing battle. Right back to square one, assuming this extra point ties it. And he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at what's going on in Toledo. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Iowa State, stubbornly keeping it on the ground and scoring a touchdown. The Cyclones have the lead, 21-14. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 35. That'll bring up third and inches. Double tight, guys, double tight. Go down, go down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Right down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't, and I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Hancock awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 30-yard line.
Makes it out to about the 19. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Little handoff. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. Jackson's on the tackle at the 16-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Third down and seven. Ball on the 16-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made right around the six-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. They bring their quarterback down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. From the 13-yard line, second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the eight. About five yards on the screen. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Oklahoma is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Passes left, going the other way. Inside the 30. And they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. From the 24-yard line. First down, Oklahoma is up by three. And he's tackled right away. Throws it in a hurry. Tackett gains about five yards on the play. That makes it second and six. <laughs> tackled after a decent pickup. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. It's on a move, touchdown. That's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 16-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 17-7. Excellent kick. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff.
And they can forget about returning this one. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. He zips it out to the right. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The second way better tighten it up. So they're going to slow down this drive. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. So at the end of the third quarter, Oklahoma leads 17-7. Timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That makes it second and 14. From the 30 yard line, it's second down. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Eight yards back on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. And he tackles them hard at the 26. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Deep ball, laying it out there. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Rockets of Toledo in action over in Toledo. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Toledo, Power and speed delivering a rushing touchdown. Iowa State has the edge, 27-21. Separated by a field goal here, Reese, 17-14 in our game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Oh, he got nailed on that one. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oklahoma is up a field goal. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 35. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's scrambling, slides down to the ground. The quarterback thought he saw a little bit of running room, but he made a good decision to get down in a hurry. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. He 
He's taken down at the 41-yard line. So on third down, they come away with a first down on the option play. Third and short, and the defense almost had him stopped. But the offense got just enough to move the chains. Quick out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. That'll be a gain of five. The play action froze the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Side for a nice game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Six-yard line. First down. From the 46-yard line. First down. Just over two minutes in the game. chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it out to about the 33. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. The Razorbacks using their third and last timeout. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes it out to about the 23. From the 23-yard line, first down. Takes a hand on tackle for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the 18. Sooners coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.